Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel and today we are in New Orleans just got checked in for Nadia Nolan. Hey everyone, before we get into today's video, if our content helps you out at all and you plan on going to a future at Nadia Nolan's, we would greatly appreciate if you'll consider using our links to book your next trip at foreplay.com slash events. It's completely free to you, but it helps us out a ton and we also do extra private activities including a group chat beforehand, meet up for everyone to get to know each other, and we also give out special goodies and personalized gifts for our bookings as well. Again, if you want to book with our group, you can visit our website here and we hope to see you on a future trip. Now let's get into today's video. We, think we got checked into our hotel. We actually yeah. need to go and register for the actual event. It's been event it's been very hectic trying to. We went and I had to go charge the car. So currently, Bella is at the Astor Hotel. That is where we have to put all of our stuff because we're vending. So I dropped her off there. Our car is almost dead, so I came to go to charge the car. There's one in New Orleans that we could find, and it was only like five minutes away. So I came here, and it's in this parking structure. But the parking structure, the, the ticket machine wouldn't work. So me and this other guy were stuck there, but the whole left side was just open, so we had to drive around the wrong direction to get in, but made it up here it seems to be okay so as long as i can get out i don't have a ticket to get out so i'm just hoping that it works but we are charging the car which is great it'll be done in 25 minutes and then i can go pick bella up for, and she's setting up all the booth stuff right now and then we got everything put in our room and then we, we had, had to, to go set up like our vending table and stuff and so yeah it's been it's been kind of crazy and now we have parked the car so we got our car parked in this nice little parking spot right here on the light. We're around a one minute walk away from our hotel. I would say that's pretty ideal. And we are on the way to the Astor Hotel, which is like the main hotel um, that has like most of the parties and classes and stuff. We're actually staying at the Nazi. Which is oh, this yeah. hotel right here is where we're staying. And that one has events and things too. It's just not as busy as the Astor. We do wish that we were staying at the Astor because that's where all like Everything is happening mostly, yeah. but um, they were already out of. Um, we didn't know we were coming until yeah. like two months ago, so they're already, we got lucky we got to stay there. But this, so. okay, we checked in and we opened the room, and that's a big room. We well, were like, holy. We'll definitely give you guys like a full room tour when you get in there, but now we're gonna go finish what Bella started earlier, which she was setting up all of the fending booths. And it's only about like a seven minute walk. Or like five minute walk from here to the other hotel so it's really not too bad and it's shade right here yeah even though it's like noon so that's pretty good <laughs> so here's what bella did while i was charging the car it looks awesome look there's us four point we finished setting everything up here it is we're gonna go ahead and just leave it out so then we don't have to like set it up every single time and I think that's gonna be fun. Yeah. A lot of the people right in our area are more giving like stuff out, which, okay, it's our first time. I Maybe thought, next I time. More people like <laughs> yeah. bend it, not yeah. just like left things out. It's more like so. promotion, I think, on this side because there's like vendor vendors, like there's store stores that go over there. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But hopefully, it nobody look, takes anything. I feel like I'm very trustworthy of yeah. people here. And I. I don't think it's going to take anything. I'll put this price. big camera right yeah, there. So. so I think that it's going to be fine. But, but I'm really excited. And yeah, here's how it looks. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our room. We are here at the Nopsy Hotel. And this place is so cool, so nice. So we will show you around. We're going to start with this. Look at this mirror. We've got this huge mirror. We can take awesome pictures here, videos here, everything. It's great. And then we have a closet that's bigger than some Airbnbs I stayed in. What? <laughs> that's uh, not true. But it is nice. It has a um, lock. It's got all of your these things. Did you get the surfboard? It has a surfboard in here. Nope. So I'm gonna take that out for a spin lane. Yeah, you know, on uh, the bayou. <laughs> and then uh, we do have some waters we put in here. It's got some luggage things, but uh, space, huge closet. Guess what's behind the door? It's a bathroom. All right, check this out. So this is a pretty spacious bathroom, I would say. You have this whole section. Here's me for reference. <laughs> it's this big. Okay, look at this. With a wingspan of 6'5", so I'm 6'5", this must be around. <laughs> 
six four. So uh, this actually, I feel like at point five it looks even smaller. Does okay, it? Here we, yeah, there we oh, go. Shoot. Okay. Um, it has this really nice little uh, marble countertop. One of these fun little, you know, up close mirrors. And then it's got this pretty nice shower. I would say it's a decent size. We have one of these with a textured cloth. And um, yeah, overall. It's a very nice bathroom. Last time we were at a lifestyle event, we were on a cruise ship, which I think the entire cruise ship room might have been the size of this bathroom. Maybe this is a little bit. This is a little smaller. Yeah, this is a little bit smaller, but like kind of not by much. I don't feel like so. This is uh, a lot different. Does feel different than the last event that we went to. So now we are into the main area. We have this nice little LG TV. And we have some, you know, countertop, some ports right here, which is really nice for, you know, charging USB, all that stuff. You have your standard drawers. And then check out the pattern on this, baby. Kind of looks like a Vera Bradley type pattern. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So you can uh, do that. You can work under this nice little light. And then we do have a mini fridge, which we've already stocked with all of our cheese, turkey, apples, fruits, things of that nature. Then come over to this side, and you have the conference room. We have meetings here, we can work, we can turn this light on. Or we'll it could be not one, not two, but three voyeur chairs. That's so true. <laughs> this is not the conference, this is voyeur chair number two, one, two, and three. We have the sleeping bed. This is gonna be our sleeping bed by the window, beautiful. And then you have a play bed, right? <laughs> You can use it for that. And then it does have some nice, like, New Orleans feeling, um, I'm gonna put in some jazz music here. Some New Orleans feeling, uh, trains, you know, it's got the whole vibe. So overall, I would say this is like, it is like a very nice, large size room. I'm super happy to be here. We have a nice view. Oh, yes. Um, there's a view of a Dave and Buster's too. Nice, I gotta get that 42K to D&B. <laughs> Okay, so over there, if you look to your right, we have the Dave and Buster's. And then actually Where over here, the Dave and um, way oh, oh, I see, I see. There. Yes, let me do a times three. There you go. You guys can okay, see the D&B. Yes. And then those people actually have a very cute little, little patio, patio set up. Oh, it is like cute. 112 outside, so I really wouldn't want to sit up there in the sun. But and then we have, oh, what is that? The, the Pensk truck rental <laughs> there you go not bad not bad at all sad sad news <laughs> we're about to just kind of put up all the lights and like make the room cute and stuff and we usually bring this like galaxy light thing and it sits right next to uh my bedside table because we use it at night sometimes before when we go to sleep and jace was in charge of putting this stuff away and then he brought the box and i was like this feels pretty light i don't know if it's in here and there's no Sabala in here. So we have just the box, but no galaxy lighting. It is my fault. I got the box. I thought it was in the box. I didn't <laughs> open the box. I should have opened the box. Oh, what a shame. At least we have these lights, so. Yeah. <laughs> so now we have our room. We love to put lights up just to make it look really fun and big. So we have some fun lights over here. And then we have these nice upside down pineapples. Of course, you have to have those all around the television area. You have another little light. You have this seating area over here. You have a voyeur area. Voyeur chair number one. Voyeur chair number two. Check this out. Voyeur chair number three. Look at all the angles. And then you have right here, our sleeping bed. Nice by the window. You have a bonus play bed. You wanna call it that? Fun over here. We got the New Orleans theme. This room. So as we've been unpacking, the one thing we've realized doesn't make a lot of sense about the layout of this hotel is it's, it's massive, right? Yeah, so but it, it has these two cabinets, those two cabinets. There's no like drawers in the bathroom or anything. And you have the one closet back there. So for how large this room is, there's not really, and you can't put anything on the bed because there's a Yeah, there's, a there's like a box there. spring or something. So. The storage space doesn't make the most sense. That's okay, but it's just interesting. And like I was saying earlier, whenever we were on the cruise ship, the room is like, oh my God, so much smaller, but there's so much more storage space. Like it just makes more sense. And here, like we can leave our stuff out and it'll just look like messy. Cause like, look how much space is over there. <laughs> Go stand look. A 6'4 male. <laughs> 
just kidding. <laughs> we have like so much space, but just, we don't know where to put like all our food and that kind of stuff. Alright, there's no noise, so we can talk. You guys wanna see me jump rope? It's one of my talents. I can't believe you got Crocs on. You're gonna take them off? You should have them in sport mode. I think you should take them I off. I think they do like really good tricks. Maybe I'll do them later. Yeah, this is, this makes me nervous. Can you know the first day I already Yeah, it? be careful. She actually is really good at jump roping, but she doesn't jump rope in platform Crocs. <laughs> I'm thoroughly impressed doing this in Crocs. It's crazy. So if you guys have ever seen any of our vlogs, you know I end up at a gym every single time for a foam roller and they have one. I'm so thankful for it because the eight hours of driving yesterday really got my back. Oh yeah. yeah. Bella is currently washing her hands. I'm gonna show you the sauces that we got with our food. There's this one, which appears to be some sort of, I don't know, something spicy. That looks good. We have your classic Tabasco sauce. And then we have just a Louisiana hot sauce. So we got all three of those things. We have cheese grits, red beans and rice, shrimp and buffet, jambalaya, and one other thing, that's this middle thing, I don't know what it is. Yes. I've never had cheese grits my whole life. Ooh, one of those is really spicy. I feel like I've never had good grits before. Yeah, that's actually really good. That's really good. No, it's crawfish or chouffe? Oh, crawfish or chouffe. Yeah. Mmm. That's... Mm -hmm. That has so much flavor in it. Oh, that's so good. Okay, red beans and rice. I don't usually so like... Etouffee is my favorite, but that mm -hmm. is really good too. I don't usually like beans like this but this is really good. We also really wanted to get like New Orleans food while we're here. So. Okay. This is jambalaya, right? Yeah. A lot so. of flavor. Really good. It's yeah. very like tomatoey. Mm -hmm. I like that. Wait, with this one. Is I this like, like a mashed potato? In, I don't know what this is. Potato oh, I, think, salad? I think it's potato salad. Mm -hmm. So I also love they just put it all on this one plate and it's just all just a, This stuff doesn't bother me. Like your mom hates stuff like this. She doesn't like like her food touching, but. I don't mind at all. I also think it's really cool because we were talking yesterday on the drive here. New Orleans, compared to the rest of the United States, in my opinion, has so much French influence. I feel like it's one place in the United States that has so much influence culture. from other places. Because I feel like a lot of America is more American culture, and New Orleans. With like bits of different subsections. So there's like a Korea town or like a Chinatown. But I feel like, well, we both feel like all of New Orleans just feels like the entire city of New Orleans feels like there's more And even culture. outside of it, even like yeah, all yeah. this part of Louisiana, the, the buildings, the architecture, it all looks very French. The food is so French inspired. You have the Cajun signs, and like yeah. Creole, which has like French in their language here and mm -hmm. parts of it. So, oh, really cool. We're gonna enjoy this food now and then we'll go back to the hotel. All right, so that was actually so cool. So we got a text from like the hotel earlier today. It was like, hey, we have these uh, cocktail make making classes and you can just, it's like a complimentary cocktail making class. We're like, let's like, go. Why not? Yeah, so and it's not part of uh, Naughty. It's just, no. It was just for the Noxie Hotel. And we were like, well, why not? Let's go see what happens. Yeah. And I thought she was gonna show us like, I mean, she did show us how to make it, but she ended up making it. She was like, it's your vacation. I don't want you to be making your own drink and then doing my job for me. And so she explained the history about the hotel yeah. and about the bar and... Um, about the drink, like yeah. how the drink was made. We never done like a... I don't think we've ever done like a wine tasting, really. So it was just kind of a Not cool... like a real, like, sit down. Yeah. yeah. So it was, it was really, really cool. Nice. So, yeah. And we got... This is a spinoff of a sidecar. And we tried some kind of cognac and some kind of gin that was crazy on its yeah. own. She was 
like, well, if you want to go ahead and put it in your drink afterwards, you can. We did not. There's like two shots in this little tiny thing. Yeah. Look how. <laughs> but it's it pretty it's good. Nice. And the yeah. two drinks by themselves were very strong. When you mix them together, they really do like fuse nicely. But it's kind of it kind of has a mimosa y kind of taste. Yeah. Yeah. There's like some citrus in there, and um, it blends really nicely. It tastes like a stronger mimosa. Yeah. yeah. But now I was gonna start this nice little area out here and have a drink, and then. Probably go finish getting ready. Before. Oh yeah, I only have half of my face done. Like my eyes need to finish and everything. I haven't done my hair, but we we're gonna be late for the class. So and this is what the area that we're drinking it looks like. Just out here. So nice. We back up to our room. Bella's doing her makeup. And then I wanted a little bit of food. We it was around four o'clock whenever we ate that huge uh, like Louisiana meal. And I was a little bit hungry, but not like that hungry. Did you call it Louisiana meat? Meal. <laughs> uh, and so I made myself a turkey and cheese sandwich. I said, this is why we like to have like little foods like this. It's like, it's like a small meal that we can have while we don't like want to go get another big meal. I don't need that much food. So it's perfect. So we're going to snack on this, watching some music videos over there. And then we're going to get ready to go over to the other hotel for like when all the party stuff is starting. We're getting our outfits ready and Bella really wanted some of these little slippers. And so, uh, oh, also here is the part of a robe. The other robes are in the bathroom already. But we got some slippers to walk around well, in the hotel. Tell how you had to, you're already in your outfit. Yeah. you had to go pick it. <laughs> okay. I'm in my outfit, and you can see like part of it right here. And the bottom's not that much. And I was like, I kept waiting because we called it for like an hour ago. So I was like, I'll just wait, I'll just wait, I'll just wait. So that way, whenever the robe gets here, I have my normal clothes on. And then we were about to leave. So I was like, all right, I just, I have to switch into this now. And literally I switched into this and 45 seconds later, Bella has like nothing on and I have this on. So I had to go get the robes and the slippers and this. We have been in our friend's room for like a long time. I don't even know what time it is. It's probably close to 11. It, that's it? Oh, my God, and our friend made us these necklaces. This is oh, I gotta tell you something. Oh, we have friends. We had no clue they're gonna yes. be here. And then she just showed up and like hugged us, and we're like, what is going on? <laughs> we were like, what? We were really excited. And so we've just been hanging out in our friend's room for like the last however long. I don't even know. It's already been like a fun party, even without doing anything. Good morning, everyone. We are ending the first day, Naughty Nalan's vlog. Yeah. Um, we had so much fun. We learned that I do need to get ready just like earlier because we ended yeah. up, especially because like making content and stuff, it adds a lot of time. Yeah. And so we didn't actually get over to the Astor Hotel where the party was until like almost 10 o'clock. Yeah. Luckily, there was a shuttle there. Yes. That was, so we didn't have to. Like, wait, we didn't know how long it was going to be, but it seemed like they're just going back and forth pretty yeah. often, so that's really Which is good. awesome, and it's a big bus, too. Like, yeah. I, in my head, I almost saw like a like little golf cart or something. Oh, really? It's in my head. It was almost like, oh. a, like, like, a, like a party bus, I yeah, guess yeah, you would yeah. say. And so, I mean, you could probably fit at least 20 people mm -hmm. on there, and so they were just going back and forth. So and it was never of, full whenever we went on no. there, too. It was always, like, half full, if that. So. Yeah, and because of our clothes, we didn't, like, really want to walk down the street, mm -hmm. so it was really nice that they had the shuttle. So soon And they, they had it on the way back, too. Yeah. But and... so we were supposed to, we ended up getting there too late to start vending mm -hmm. because there also were like more tables around us and we're right next to the bar, which is a good thing because yeah, we'll get more no, traffic. But um, it was going to be too difficult at that time to go behind the table and get out our boxes and yeah. kind of do everything so we were just like we just won't mess with it especially because like for like 15 minutes because yeah. we wanted to experience the parts and stuff first time here yeah so tonight we'll get there earlier so we have like two hours so we can sit and do all the vending stuff before the party starts but now we know so it was such a cool party too though there was there was like two main parties at the other hotel i don't think there was a party at this hotel which and is a yeah. um, but at the astor there was two hotels or two parties tonight there is parties here at the Nopsy as well as the Aster, but. And when we say party, we mean there's like a couple dance balls, like ballrooms. Mm -hmm. And so then there's like one room that has music, different types of music. Two different rooms that has two different types of music. One did seem busier than the other one. And then DJ Life is Spice, who's our friend, and he was DJing 
for a, a majority, I think the whole time no, that we no, were there. Yeah. yeah, and so that was really fun. We always love seeing him. Yeah. And they had like projections of his, like there was yeah, like, cool. it was like visuals, yeah, it was like really on cool. the wall, in the back, and, and behind him, because it was like high production yeah, for really cool. like a lifestyle. Like they don't even, because I don't even <laughs> see like projected stuff on like cruises and stuff when the DJs yeah. are playing. Yeah. So that, that was really cool. He even had his like own visuals. Like it wasn't just like random, yeah. like it was his own visuals behind him on a big screen. Yeah. So I'm really cool. excited to see like the rest of the other themes and everything and, and keep going. Yeah, and the parties were huge. It was so yeah. busy. Everyone was on theme. Like there's so many tables around too. Yeah. Every, a lot, not everybody was anything. A lot of people were dancing. There were so many places to sit. You never like, felt like at a normal club, it would feel kind of difficult. Even like on a cruise, like if you're just in the dancing area, sometimes it's hard to find a place to sit. And so, um, yeah, this was really, really fun. It was awesome, yeah. And then we ended up having an after party in our room with some other friends. Yeah, and with, a, was... with a couple who we've been friends with for a while. Yeah. And then another couple we met yesterday. That we met last day who were and, really fun. Yeah. And so I'm excited to like hang out with like everybody and meet new people. Yeah. Cause it's usually we don't play until like towards the later half of a vacation. And so that was nice. That was fun. <laughs> so it was a really, really good night, but I think we'll go ahead in this vlog here and then we'll probably pick up in five minutes from now when we start day two. Also, I said, if you guys are interested in coming naughty next year, we'll have it right here for play.com such events. You can book with us and yeah, she's such a cool event. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you never see post a video and then comment down below. Did any of you guys come to naughty this year? Have we met any people that are watching this video? If you did, what was your favorite part? I mean, all of it, but thank you guys so much for watching. We'll talk to you in the next one. Bye. Bye.